Hello everyone, Luke here, welcome back to the channel. So if you saw my last video where we actually just replaced the thermostat, ho uh, thermostat, thermostat housing and the rad pipe in my last video, and it worked absolutely amazing. So, here's a little tip for you guys if you don't want to go out and actually spend money on a thermostat if you think you don't need to. So, in this video, I'm going to show you a way to make sure, or to test rather, if these are good or bad. And it's actually going to be really simple. You're pretty much going to need two things. A container where you can put some water in <laughs> and a kettle because we need the water to get above 100 degrees. So let's put the kettle on boil, fit up this thing and I'll show you how to tell if it's good or bad. So the main symptoms of a bad thermostat is usually your temperature of your car is either overheating or it's not heating up enough. Secondly, you usually find coolant around the bottom of your car and if it's not a head gasket issue it usually leaks from the left hand side but I can't be 100% sure on that because all cars are different, let's be fair. But they're usually the symptoms of bad thermostat. So to give it a little test and to know if it's actually bad we basically just boil a kettle full of water, pour it into a pot and then stick your thermostat in there. And depending if it's good or bad, it should either open itself when it's at a hot temperature to allow the coolant to go through, or if it's bad, it should just stay in this normally closed position, which means coolant isn't getting to the engine, which causes it to overheat. So there's usually two things that can be wrong. One of them isn't as bad, one of them's really bad. So when it's in a normally open position, it's letting coolant into the uh, rad and into the engine constantly. And if it's normally closed, it's not letting any in there at all, which causes the overheat or causes the puddle underneath your car, depending on the condition of your rad pipe. So let's give this a test. So when we put it into this pan for the boiling hot water, it should contract to allow the coolant to go through. And if it doesn't move, we know it's bad. So let's give it a go. So I've just finished boiling the kettle, it's completely full to the brim. So we're just gonna fill up this saucepan. And now the saucepan's filled, when we put this thermostat in, it should contract closed, if it's in good condition. So we'll leave that in there for a couple minutes just to see what happens. So the thermostat's been sitting in the hot water for around a minute, a minute and a half now. And if we take a temperature, it's around 85 degrees Celsius, which isn't, that's plenty enough temperature. And nothing has happened at all. I mean, it's slightly contracted on one side, which is very weird, but that's indicated that, that the thermostat is not in good condition at all and it doesn't work. Okay, so to really make sure that we're getting this thing up to temp, I've put it on this hot plate and making sure that the water is boiling over 100 degrees. And checking the OEM part number, the specification says that this specific thermostat has an opening temperature of around 92 degrees. So we'll leave this boiling for a little bit longer and see if this thing is really broken. So this has been boiling for over five minutes and as you can see, there isn't really much of a change. This should have retracted, but it hasn't done anything at all well by the looks of it anyway so we can draw this out as being broken so if this was working this part would have retracted all the way down to the base so I thought that was a really cool tip and definitely worth sharing because when you test it like that it even has the potential to rectify your thermostat completely because sometimes all they need is just to clean but usually the case is, is that they're broken and they're going to be needed to replace and with that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later.